Hello, welcome to idrawgrowth.com, the place where you learn how to draw online. We have over 300 free video and step-by-step -step tutorial. Visit our blog at idrawgrowth.com. Here's our video. Hello, um, this one is going to be some sort of a remake of one of the older ones that I make. It's just going to be a three-quarter with a little um, angle and then she's going to be holding her, her glasses or something. So I start off with the head and then as you can see I did a little shape for um, arms and hands and now I'm drawing her you know fingers. Just going to be like little geometry shape indicating the, the shape of like you know um, the mass index finger, middle fingers and then the rest of the fingers holding something and the other one is just a, a so, so some sort of a oval shape and I start off with the you know circle shape and um, if you want to go see uh, how the I construct the whole thing using the geometry shape go to my blog um, the link is below the video so you can just go and look at the step by step if you know this sometime may be a little too uh, fast for the beginner so now um, I got the whole face and the hair going on here and usually the eyes is uh, about right in the middle of the face and about one fourth of the whole the whole face. Um, I mean the height wise. And now I got the nose and the lips going on. And then uh, most of the time, I usually I start off really light, so it's easier for me to go in later and you know do the darker line and kind of uh, add in. Um, I wouldn't say detail, but um, making sure that it's um, it correct and have the the precision is is there. Um, since anime as uh, the face and stuff is very uh, minimum in line or stroke and things like that. Um, there's not a lot of line that you have to draw. So every spot that you put in. Uh, one mistake or a little misplace could make it look not as cool as it should be. So, and now I'm doing the eyes, and as you see, um, it's kind of going to this perspective. If you have like a sphere as a head, then the, the eye that's closer to you is bigger, and the other one is smaller. So, that's uh, just the law of perspective. And now, uh, when I draw eye, usually I'll, I'll have one, you know, highlight on top, as you can see over there and then I'll shade from the top down dark to light. Um, some anime has a lot of like you know highlights on the eyes but um, that's just a preference I just like to have just one because um, that's that's closer to you know regular drawing and I'm kinda used to that um, I don't like too many um, shiny things it just just one is good enough because I don't know where the other highlight would be coming from and uh, now I'm drawing the eyebrows and a little tiny strain of hair and a big clumps and another bigger ones and then another you know strain of hair on the side so now I did the bang and this one is going to be on the side and as you notice um, I'm doing like big and small and then most of the time in one section will flow at the same way it flow and then the other if it has like the other big section that have a little strain goes then it would just flow um uh, it could flow in a different direction so it doesn't matter as long as it belong to the same you know section if it's on a different section uh, you, you can go the other way so it just you know separate the section of the clumps of the hair and just kind of define it like you see the light here it's it's um that's one section so in one section of the hair you might have um, three to five you know spiky things coming off and it should be thin or thick or whatever behind front depends on how you you know draw it and stuff like that so now we have the whole hair going on and add another one just because I thought it might look cooler um, it should, I don't know, uh, kind of I have to show it now because it's a little, little too big so now I got the whole um, three-quarter face going on 
There you go. And on the other side of the face, some hair is coming off too. And I'm now trying to refine the face a little bit. So it's pretty much, you know, like um, pin everything down before you start to actually draw. Um, so you know where everything would go and the proportion is really important. Um, if the proportion is wrong, then you're going to waste a lot of time and energy drawing the thing that doesn't is not going to look right. So I would suggest that um, if you construct it with the lighter line, with the shape, um, and trying to correct the proportion to begin with before you start to actually draw, it will be a lot better. And your drawing will be a lot better than just, you know, start drawing without um, thinking or planning. So now I'm drawing the sleeve. And now, as you see, I did the sort of geometry shape for the hand and I mean it could be shamed because it's a really light drawing so just those are just kinda like the, the line that you drawn in the beginning really light that I usually do are are kinda like a guideline or you know some sort of a grid that go down before I actually drawn stuff um, and then you know when I start to actually draw stuff I kinda you know use that to um, kind of guesstimate or estimate where um, or what part of the body should be in where and then when you start to refining your pictures um, those guideline or those construction line that you had in the beginning will come into um, uh, advantage of whatever you you know trying to put down and it, it will make your drawing a lot, a lot more accurate so to speak anyways um, and now she's holding her glasses. Yeah, just start off with the geometry shape and you know um, anything, a blob or whatever that. But geometry shape is the easiest because your brain kind of um, systematically um, categorize them in a certain way that sort of it will make it will make a lot more sense when you start to actually draw that and you know like a box and things. And it will it will help a lot when you're doing perspective because you know the box will actually help from like or the sphere like you know the eyes would be here bigger eyes here and smaller eyes here and then the, the line of the sphere you actually draw sort of perspective wise um, and calculate it would um, become like bigger when it's closer and smaller when it's further away so anyways um, here's a, a drawing of a three-quarter face and with the glasses some anime girls um, I tried and there'll be a step-by-step -step images on my website and I'll have the link on the bottom of the video so you can go and take a look at them and see how I actually um, draw it and stuff so anyway thanks for coming visit Um have a great day bye bye